but Dr. Gundry, I'm a vegetarian. What can I eat? You know, I hear it all the time. People assume that the plant paradox is not for them because they don't eat meat. Now, here's the thing. If you've read my book, you know that every recipe has a vegetarian or vegan-friendly option. In fact, I eat mostly vegetarian diet myself. But I don't fill up on grains, and I don't get my protein from soy. Instead, I rely on five vegetarian superfoods that are plant paradox approved and delicious too. The first one is an avocado, and it's one of my favorite foods. In fact, I eat an avocado just about every day. In fact, it's the one fruit you don't have to eat in moderation. It's got barely any sugar and the perfect blend of healthy fats and soluble fiber to keep your gut bugs happy. And with almost as much protein as an egg, avocados do a great job keeping you full. That's why I tell my patients to start each day with a whole avocado. Second, we've got leafy greens. Dark leafy greens like spinach, kale, and collard greens are among the healthiest foods on the planet. And believe it or not, they've got plenty of protein. Think about it. Some of the biggest, most muscular mammals on the planet, horses and gorillas, for example, eat vegetarian diets. And they're getting enough protein and nutrients to go about their days. That's because they know they can get all the protein they need from leaves. And so can you. Third, mushrooms. They're high in protein as far as vegetables are concerned, but that's not the only reason they're great for keeping your body fueled up. You see, mushrooms are heavy in fructooligosaccharides, a form of indigestible sugar that your gut bugs love. And there's no better way to keep you full, happy, and comfortable than keeping your gut bugs happy. That's part of the reason I love corn crumbles as a replacement for meat. They're vegetarian, made mostly of mushroom roots, and have a great meaty texture. Up next, nuts. Now, not all nuts are created equal. In fact, some nuts aren't nuts at all. They're seeds like cashews or legumes like peanuts. But walnuts, pecans, pistachios, and macadamia nuts are all wonderful for you. They're packed with good fats, are filling, and are high in protein. And studies have even shown that people who eat nuts every day live longer, healthier lives than those who don't. But what about almonds? Their skins contain lectins, so if you're eating blanched or Marcona almonds, you're fine. But plain old almonds should be avoided. Last but not least, beans. Yes, you heard me right, beans. But Dr. Gundry, don't beans have lectins? Absolutely, but there's a great way around that. Pressure cooking. It kills almost all the lectins in beans, making them safer to eat. And don't worry, modern pressure cookers aren't the scary, spring-loaded, ready-to-blow contraptions of the past. They're safe and easy to use, and you only hit one button. But if you want even easier, shop for Eden brand canned beans. They're already pressure cooked to minimize lectins, and they come in a BPA-free can. Just remember, pressure cooking doesn't get rid of all the lectins in your food. So save beans, even pressure cooked beans, for special occasions. And always remember, you can get plenty of protein from plants, especially things like greens, cruciferous vegetables, roots, and tubers. So if you're a vegetarian who is curious about the plant paradox, or if you're trying to eat less meat, we all should, keep these five superfoods in mind. Your gut and your body will thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click on the left to watch another great video and don't forget to visit my website for more of my best tips because I'm Dr. Gundry and I'm always looking out for you.